بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان شاء اللہ ناؤ وی ول اسٹارٹ ا نیو ٹاپک وچ از مڈل میڈیسٹنم اینڈ اٹس کانٹینٹس وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ دا انٹروڈکشن اف میڈیسٹنم دیٹ واٹ از میڈیسٹنم واٹ آر دا باؤنڈریز اف میڈیسٹنم واٹ آر دا کانٹینٹس اف میڈیسٹنم ایز اے ہول ہاؤ مینی ڈویژنس آف میڈیسٹنم آر دیئر واٹ از دا لائن وچ از ڈیوائڈنگ دا میڈیسٹنم ان ٹو سپیریئر اینڈ انفیریئر پارٹس واٹ از دا ڈویژن آف انفیریئر میڈیسٹنم دین there are three divisions of mediastinum in the inferior part see here in this diagram this is inferior mediastinum this inferior mediastinum is divided by the heart into three divisions anterior middle and posterior okay in the middle part where the heart and great vessels are present this area is called as middle mediastinum so what are the contents number 1 is pericardium number 2 is heart number 3 is all great blood vessels which are ascending aorta pulmonary trunk and superior vena cava and superior vena cava so these are the Uh, great vessels which are present in the middle mediastinum first of all i want to describe to you the main vessels of the heart see here this is heart this is the pericardial cavity or the pericardial membranes which are enclosing the heart see here number 1 is the superior vena cava the great vein of our body superior vena cava is carrying the deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body into the right atrium of the heart just like superior vena cava there is another vein which is called as inferior vena cava which is also draining the deoxygenated blood from the lower part of the body into the right atrium of the heart remember there are two veins one is called as superior vena cava another is called as inferior vena cava they are draining the deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body and the lower part of the body into the right atrium of the heart from the right atrium the blood will go into the right ventricle of the heart through some valves okay we will discuss the valves in the lecture of heart so the deoxygenated blood has come from right atrium which is the upper chamber into the lower chamber which is the right ventricle of the heart from the right ventricle the deoxygenated blood will go away from the heart through pulmonary trunk this pulmonary trunk is divided into two pulmonary arteries one is right pulmonary artery and one is left pulmonary artery this is called artery although it is carrying the deoxygenated blood but because it is taking or draining the blood away from the heart that's why it is called as artery although it is blue in color and it is carrying the deoxygenated blood so these pulmonary arteries will carry the deoxygenated blood blood to the lungs on each side right pulmonary artery will take it to the right lung and left pulmonary artery will drain the deoxygenated blood into left lung okay in the lung there will be oxygenation of the deoxygenated blood and it will convert into oxygenated blood now you know this thing that there are four pulmonary veins which are present at the hilum or the root of the lung two pulmonary veins on the left side and two pulmonary veins on the right side they are veins okay they are veins because they are draining the blood into the heart okay although they are carrying oxygenated blood and because they are carrying oxygenated blood they are red in color okay they are shown in red color so these are pulmonary veins which will carry the oxygenated blood and drain it into left atrium of the heart this is left atrium of the heart where these four pulmonary veins will be opening left atrium of the heart is most commonly present on the posterior surface so it will be shown very clearly on the posterior surface so there will be four openings of the pulmonary veins in the left atrium from the left atrium the oxygenated blood will go into the left ventricle this is left ventricle of the heart which is forming the apex of the heart also 
from the left ventricle the blood will go can you see this largest vessel the blood will enter which is the oxygenated blood it will enter the aorta this is aorta this is coming out from the left ventricle this is the largest vessel it is draining the oxygenated blood to all over the body to all over the body this aorta has three parts the first part which is coming out from the left ventricle is called as ascending aorta the ascending aorta means it is coming out or ascending or going up from the left ventricle then there is arch of aorta arch means the arch shape or the bending shape this is called as arch of aorta then there will be descending just like ascending going up there is descending thoracic aorta the descending thoracic aorta will go down it is present over the left side it will give many branches which will supply the oxygenated blood to the all over over the body so actually this was the introduction of the heart and the great blood vessels which are present in the heart which are maybe coming in or going out of the heart so some of these vessels will be present in the superior mediastinum see here superior mediastinum some will be present in the middle mediastinum now because i am talking about the middle mediastinum so see here heart is present in the middle mediastinum pericardium is present in the middle mediastinum lower part of the superior vena cava is present in the middle mediastinum okay the ascending aorta is present in the middle mediastinum the up, the lower part or the starting point of arch of aorta is present then pulmonary trunk is present and its bifurcation into two pulmonary arteries is present pulmonary veins are present now because i have explained you the function of all these vessels the function of superior vena cava function of aorta function of pulmonary trunk function of pulmonary vein so you should know all the functions of these structures or these vessels okay so what are the contents of middle mediastinum now number 1 heart number 2 lower part of superior vena cava because the upper part of superior vena cava will be present in superior mediastinum then the starting point or the ascending aorta starting point of aorta or ascending aorta will be here pulmonary trunk will be here and starting point of four pulmonary veins will be here in the middle mediastinum so see here heart in arteries ascending aorta pulmonary trunk with two branches right and left lower part of the superior vena cava or the starting point of the superior vena cava four pulmonary veins along with the arteries and veins there are two nerves which are present in the middle mediastinum these are phrenic nerve and vagus nerve remember here this is right vagus and there will be left vagus nerve here and there will be phrenic nerve also see here these are the phrenic nerves which are present in the middle mediastinum along with the nerves veins and arteries there will be bifurcation of trachea the point of the bifurcation of trachea is called as carina it will divide into two principal bronchi because there are two lungs so two principal or primary bronchi will be there along with this bifurcation there are tracheobronchial lymph nodes pericardial vessels and phrenic vessels are present in the middle mediastinum again what are the contents heart pericardium see here this is heart pericardium this is the lower half of the superior vena cava this is ascending aorta there will be bifurcation of the trachea there is pulmonary trunk this is pulmonary trunk and its divisions into right pulmonary and left pulmonary artery then there will be four pulmonary veins which are two right pulmonary veins and two left pulmonary veins then there will be phrenic nerve see here this is phrenic nerve then there will be vagus nerve also which is forming the deep cardiac plexus the vagus nerve will form the deep cardiac plexus all the vessels that go in and out the heart are included in the middle mediastinum again this is the revision what is middle mediastinum between anterior and posterior mediastinum what are the contents see here this is heart there will be pericardium which is surrounding the heart this is ascending aorta can you see ascending aorta here this is ascending aorta this is pulmonary trunk 
okay pulmonary trunk this is superior vena cava the lower half of superior vena cava this is inferior vena cava okay this will be also entering into the right atrium of the heart then there are four pulmonary veins okay see they have bounded it with yellow lines to show you the middle mediastinum and its content so these are four pulmonary veins then there is right and left phrenic nerve then there will be vagus nerve then there are pericardial vessels phrenic vessels and tracheobronchial lymph nodes so this question is very very important learn it by heart that what are the contents of middle mediastinum assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi